interested to see 66 punches per round, but in his last three, his output has dropped to just over 45. So something we will monitor to see how much he gets to work, how busy he is. Utilizing the jab early on here to get things started. If the shot opens up, it'll be there, but don't too hard. He needs to let the fight come to him like he's doing right now. Out for him against a guy like Josh Grill. Well, Come what do we have here? Halfway through round one, and Plania has... How Sam Plania Josh had explosive react. punching power. Tess, I said that he has explosive punching power. Hook from Plania. And now he steps to Greer. He said, I don't want to rush things, but look at this surge he has early on. And now a right hand comes in. He's very explosive and unpredictable. Plania. Big way to start the evening for the upset. Yeah, Greer's responding the right way, at least as of right now. But yes, you got to deal with embarrassment. Your pride is hurt. Chin up in the air. His eyes are wide open, but that chin is covered well. But he's got to stay alert. He's got to keep his hands up. But he needs to get on his jab. And he needs to let his combinations go. And then think about defense after. Who is this? That's it. There it is. Sit up then. Move ahead. Round one, Mark Kriegel against Josh Greer, who starts in his career. Well, a word of encouragement hey, hey. for, for Greer. That I haven't seen him this patient in any of his fights. He's trying to line Greer up, like you said, Tim, yeah, for that yeah, perfect yeah, shot. Yeah. He just. I think right now Joshua Greer is just trying not to get dirty. And what I mean by that is he doesn't really. And you all hear me say this all the time. And when you're facing a puncher, there's a time and a place to. Strategy he tried to put forth against Deontay Wilder. of saying it's tough to throw a no-hitter for to be so perfect. With power and smother it, get your work off. I see what Greer shot a little bit and get his hands working, but he went down to the body with that right hand. He doesn't telegraph, he doesn't leap forward, he just stands in place and just whips it. I want him to reach for that left hook. That way. But instead, they're now circling. This is. It's amazing the audio we have with this yeah, fanless yeah. atmosphere, the arena atmospheres we normally are televised. Oh, <laughs> that doesn't surprise me at all. <laughs> the left of the zone. <laughs> and you can also finish. That's the next level. That's the elite level. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, now what? He just landed a combination. He yeah. just ran away. Now yeah, what? Yeah, yeah. But right now, Mike Plania feels like he could be in control of things, having scored the knockdown in round one. Coming out firing here with long range right. His output dropped to 45 punches per round. He has been in less than what we said we would be monitoring. As the out of four to make any mistakes, so therefore he won't throw as many punches. Because plenty is landing shots ago. Bernardo, I assume that corner is bullish right now. What are they saying? Yeah, they, he actually told me, uh, Osmani Fernandez said, I'm happy. He said, I told him, you're the boss, but you've got to let your hand go. You're in. Like, Greer's not punching. What will the answer? How about Greer Three, going down again? Four, five, six, seven, 
eight. Come to me. Okay. Here we go. And you but like a viper strike. And two times now tonight, it has scored the knockdown for Mike Plania. And the line was moving. The money was coming into today on the other. And to your point, Dre, Plania, when he throws that left hook, it almost looked like he's stepping in with a jab. You saw the hand, the right hand of Greer moves forward, expecting the jab. The knockdown. Good two piece right there from Plania. Right hand. He needs a knockout to win this fight. Or even pull off a draw. Yeah, the two 10 8 rounds are so difficult to overcome. And they're all night long. Wow. Now look at that left about Mike Plana. Isn't there a Filipino from the same hometown as Manny Pacquiao who's been coming on strong? You know, you could look yeah, down at his is, line by line, so guys. Is, 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 oh. And there is Greer with a left hook upstairs. But you could look down at Plania's line by line and see opponents that had losing records or they were making his pro day, making their pro debut, and then steps into this spot and has been delivering all night long. He'll have three rounds to go. Try to take this to the finishing live from Vegas. A chance to check in with Mark Kriegel. Plan. He went to the body. He broke his opponent down. I don't really sense any of that here. Plan in here, right where he needs him. He needs to dig down to the body. Stay shut, nice and tight in there. It's Greer on the inside. Now there's an uppercut that tries to wrap around the right hand. As Plan in the fourth combination. Greer trying to turn a shoulder. They are now. Short right on the inside. What will be the answer for Greer, if any? Right back. There's the right uppercut from Joshua Greer. Trailing on the scorecards here. Let's see this right here from Josh Greer. It's not working on the outside, so let's take it inside and see if Plania can deal with what we got. And right now, he's having the most success that I've seen him have throughout the course of this fight. No doubt about it. And applying this strategy at just the right time on the scorecards. Three rounds to go. Short right hand on the inside. And Plania without that space, without that weaponry, doesn't quite look the same. Like he's supposed to if he's going to try to get to that title shot eventually down the road. Could have easily packed it in and went into survival mode. And I haven't seen that from Joshua Revere tonight. Some loose tape around. See the tape loose right there. Yeah, the right glove of Mike Plania. But we got the final 10 seconds here of round eight. A far better round for Josh Greer. Landed a right hand there as well to decide it. Josh Greer trying to keep his status. Number one in the WBO. Top 10 on ESPN.com. Mike Plania trying to put himself into that conversation as a bantamweight contender. Last round and this round of the first two rounds where the body language has shifted. Now Joshua Greer looks like the boss and Plania is on the retreat. And he looks like the boss when he steps to him and can get to the inside. Round number nine here. That's the right good uppercut. Event. That's the right uppercut. Good sneaky body this shot from Plania right there. Sure was. That right hand. Land. Didn't make him pay. You see the urgency with Greer now. <laughs> Trying to chase him down with a right hand. Just missing that time. I saw that in his last fight, even though it was a controversial decision. He came on late and he's coming. Now put him to work. I've had a professional career after surviving street life of Chicago against a guy who was a champion in Juan Carlos Payano. 
Seemingly getting better at 23 years old. For your winner, by majority decision, Magic Mike Gladia! Not quite sure what Dave Moretti was watching. Widespread, 97-91 and 97.